The Giants continue their search for their next general manager. Joined by Paul Dottino, I am John Schmelk. And Paul, the Giants have interviewed Quentin Harris, the vice president of player personnel for the Arizona Cardinals. This is a guy who actually has a connection to the New York football Giants. He was in training camp during the 2006 season, a defensive back, played free safety in the league for about five years, and again, had one summer camp with the Giants, didn't make the final cut, but the connection to Big Blue is something that I'm sure he's very fond of. And a former player, you don't have a ton of former players in those general manager roles. No, you don't, but the one thing about these kinds of guys is that they can understand what people are saying on the opposite end of the table, maybe a a little bit better than someone who's only been in administration. But he has even more experience at this point as a personnel executive than he had as a player. 14 years, Paul, in the Cardinals organization spanning four different coaches. Yeah, um, college and pro departments in terms of his scouting experience, been to five playoff trips, including one uh, trip to the Super Bowl with the Cards, Wisenhunt, Arians, Wilkes, Kingsbury. You mentioned the four coaches. Boy, you talk about a guy who was dealt with a bunch of different personalities. That's got to say a lot about his demeanor. And you take a look at the way they've drafted over that period of time. Obviously, it's impossible to know, you know, what players to link to what person in their department, who's drafting who. But the Cardinals, after having, as you well know, Paul, from the 80s through the 90s, there wasn't much more right. of a barren wasteland of playoff appearances than the Arizona Cardinals. But really, in the last 15 years, which coincides with his tenure, they've had a lot more success. Went to the Super Bowl with Kurt Warner, one very different yeah. type of quarterback. Now they're going to the playoffs with the Kyler Murray. So he can adjust and try to build a team with different styles. Well, you know, it also tells you by some of the trades and free agent moves that they've made that they're also not uh, too afraid to take a risk, take a gamble, and to get that guy who will get them into the next step of being a contender. Talk about A.J. Green, a veteran they brought in. J.J. Watt, a veteran they brought in. So they were not afraid. The trade, you know, they ended up making that trade uh, with DeAndre Hopkins. Mm -hmm. So a lot of different moves by a different avenues right. that have helped get the Cardinals to where they are. And as a GM, you have to be able to exercise all those different levers to get success. No question. We're talking about a, a department that he's been a huge part of that has been bold and, and not queasy about doing what they think they need to do. Hey, we think we can go for something, let's go do it. And that's something that a lot of people sometimes have a little trouble doing. We will continue to track, Paul, all the Giants interviews for their new general manager right here on Giants.com and all the Giants social media platforms. Make sure you stay tuned.